Good morning, afternoon, and evening to you guys, my scummies. Meister Dragon Toter, or Drac, or Meister, as some of my friends, uh, when I'm playing, call me. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit today about what I've kind of figured out about the cooking thing, you know, where they adjusted the ring on the, uh, the area on the fire ring so that it's painful, you can only get your skewers warm. And I started playing around with this the other day, and I noticed something. Notice that uh, you've got to feed the fire, even if you've just freshly built it. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. I want to build another ring for you guys live in action, because I've already got my other ring kind of set up right now. Eh, we're looking for rocks. We're looking for rocks. <coughs> I can do us on the base just to find rocks. Two, maybe one. Remember back in the day, we used to just be able to find rocks for the sake of finding rocks. Oh, the good old days. Two, three, four, four more. Six, two, one. Right here. Look at that. Two more rocks. All right, let's get back inside. We got a real high gen pop. It's the weekend and it's raid weekend on our server. Everybody's on. Even on Sunday, I was surprised. Get up a little bit early so I can get a little bit of stuff done before people. So they're getting on, and they're already on. Yeah, it is what it is. You gotta remember, guys, I am most certainly not a PvPer. I suck at that kind of thing. All right, let's get our bottle of oil. Ah, uh, they ring. I could use another ring. Yeah, I wonder if I could use this ring to stay warm. Right there in my lean-to. You see, I got two, two lean-tos set up. Uh, more so just because I don't want to build a big cabin. I don't, cabinets don't need to be inside a cabin. If somebody gets into my base, they're getting into my base anyway. Um, I have not been out doing... Look at that. Right there. I wonder if that would burn the thing up. Alright, so we'll place that right there. So you see how we got 8 of 8, 4, 4, 1, 0, 1. So let's go ahead and fill that up. Boom, 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 with what we can. Control F. <coughs> and I need to get... Four Four logs, right? So, got a little thing over here that I started collecting. Uh, I've got a little thing called fire firewood. Because you gotta start using this firewood. That's kind of what they intended. They want you to not just have a fire ring that just suddenly works and everything's happy go lucky, right? Where'd it go? Drink instead of cut. Where's the lazy to set back? No, I keep drinking. Ha 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 ha. Cut, cut. That's what I want to do. There we go. And we're cut. And there's my fire logs. Those uh, I left outside are still there. Oh, you're not going to let me go out easy, are you? I may adjust that just so that I can. Oh, I like having it fast. Do, 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 do. Nope, no fire logs there. Do I have one? Yes. Do. One of the things I've started doing, guys, is I started keeping mushrooms on me. Just a little something to eat whenever I need to, because, uh, you know, with the tab system, a lot of people are complaining that you're doing nothing but eating and shit. But the reality is, just eat a little bit over time, kind of like you would in 
real life over, you know, over the day. Some of us go hours and hours and hours without eating, and then we start feeling drenched and drained, and we eat something we're good. If you just start eating little stuff throughout the day, it's really easy to maintain the metabolism. Um, but remember, again, you know, one of the things they set up is the more overweight you are, uh, as far as uh, items that you're carrying and that kind of thing, the faster your metab goes down. So, uh, so you use water and food more if you're running at full speed with an overweight gear. Like if your character can only carry, uh, say he's only set up to carry uh, your strikes or set up to carry 11 um, kilograms, but you're running around with like 15 kilograms, you're going to use a whole lot more of that energy. That's just something you have to count for. So if you're going to do that, you just got to make sure that you carry more crap around with you so that you can keep eating and try to maintain that level. Bottles of water or uh, soda cans. Fill the soda cans up with water. Uh, that'll help uh, a little bit. Let's see, drop. See, this is why I can't get anything done. I keep getting sidetracked. So we're going to make this real quick just to clear out some of this area. One, five, bottle. Another thing, just a neat little tidbit, if you notice in the zero sub drop, one of the things you can do, is, I have trouble doing anyway, is when I'm holding control and using my wheel mouse to, to turn that thing and thing, some of the animals won't do that. So just drag it out, turn it, then bring it back in, and you'll have it turned. Uh, just a little thing that has been has made my patience a little bit easier to handle and deal with. All right, so we go ahead and go fill that in. No, we're not, because I put them on the crate, didn't I? And I didn't bring the crate with me. I'm going to blame it that it's early in the morning. I'm still trying to work through my coffee. We'll, we'll go with that. Our wood. Right there. Grab our wood. One, two, three, four to start. F, finish it. All right. What I want you to look at is you've got your burning stages, 0 to 10, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and what I was noticing is that the range on that is not super far when you initially do that. So one of the things you can do, so it's fully full, right, 0 to 10. I should be able to put a skewer here. So if we look here, this one's stage 2 of 10, so I should fill it up. All wooden log, boom, now we're 0 of 10. Now if I go get a food skewer, meat skewer, uh, I started using the five ones because I was just having troubles with the, I may go back to doing it with the small ones. Because of that, the heat uh, ring around the fire ring, it just wasn't going far enough for me to even get anything beyond warm. Um, and, and this is what we're going to look at today is, um, you know, when you get this thing set with it being at zero of ten, you actually have enough uh, distance to be able to actually get the skewers to get beyond warm and start cooking. So go into first person and then try to get it as close as you can. Turn it blue, boom, pop, drop. Now I like to get close to it so I can spot it easily. And we're going to go check taste, you know like we did. Now you can see it's hot and it's raw so it's probably actually overcooking right now. Let's bring this back just a little bit. All right. A little bit more. We don't want it to burn. Alright. So it should actually, we're probably a little far out now. So we're still hot. And that's good. And the skewer's hot too. Ha ha ha! Anyway. 
dad jokes, right? And I'm not even a dad. Imagine that. All right, so we're hot. We're hot. Now see how we're slight. Now we're warm again, but we're slightly cooked. We actually started cooking this thing, and that's what we haven't been able to be seeing. And if you aren't paying attention to the the burning stage of your fire ring, which is what's affecting the distance you can get in, they actually clock blocked it off. You used to be able to get really, really close to the fire, so you're almost cooking over the fire. Well, they've changed that apparently. Um, so now you just got to make sure that you keep feeding it and get your burning stage zero zero, and that will let you get in close enough to actually start cooking your meat. Uh, now you might ask, is does it really even matter, right? So is there a difference between the raw food and the cooked food? And honestly, I haven't. I, I, I you know what? Well, let's let's get this cooked. So we're hot. We're slightly cooked. We'll get this cooked, and I'll go grab another skewer, and we'll look at the uh, nutrition level see what it does. I don't know if it does anything with the character, but it might actually, you know, show that there's different levels of stuff. Okay, so we're cooked. Let's get it off before we burn it. Oh no! Alright, get it away from the fire. Put the fire out. Pull one up for my homies. Alright, so now we've got a cook skewer over there. Let's go get one that's not cooked. Take that out of my hand. Here's a raw one. All right. Now, side by side. The raw one is here. You can look at the difference and see the difference, right? You see the shading. So that's the cooked meat. That's the raw meat. So I wonder if it works. Let's get that highlighted. Here. And no, it doesn't. So now... Up here, yes, we can. Uh, but it's harder to tell which one's which. Alright, so that's the raw one, right? So we hover over that and we look at this mouse six. And it's 234 cows, 10 of 10. Um, nutrition facts 120. Calories from fats 166. We got 18.575. Uh, looks like 28.7 grams of protein. You know, these look fairly normal, right? So let's go over to this guy and see do we have see a major difference. And right now, 120 kilograms, 234 calories. This guy has 234 calories. So here's what I'm looking at, folks. I, you know, I don't see a huge difference in any of the nutritional facts or anything. Let's see, what? 229, Four nine two zero twenty one. Yeah, so at this point, right, we're just going through the motions of cooking for the sake of cooking, because um, it doesn't look like there's any nutritional value or mineral vitamin differentiation uh, between these guys just for cooking it. So, uh, let's see B nine. Yeah, doesn't look like there's any difference in in the minerals for cooking it. So. Um, at the end of the day, what you're looking at is, is it worth your time to cook them, or do you just create them and eat them? Because what we just looked at is, um, unless there's an algorithm and background that we can't see for a consumption rate, where it's using those uh, faster on, or it gets you fatter on the, uh, the uncooked, the raw skewer versus the cooked skewer. But if you, can, if you looked at it, you know, you, uh, uh, calories from fat, both of the skewers were at um, both of the skewers were 166. So, you know, is, is there a benefit? Is it is it worth the time that it takes to get the fire lit, get the skewer and the fire in just the right place, watch to make sure it doesn't get burned or overcooked? Uh, maybe that's something we want to look at too and later. Is see, is there a difference between the, the cooked and the overcooked and uh, and uh, the burned? You know, maybe. Maybe did I just lose that skewer? <laughs> yeah, well, that's one of the good thing, things we like doing is we just lose stuff as we drag it into our crates and stuff. Oh well, uh, it is what it is. My base is in a pretty good place, so I've got horses and goats and all that good loaf coming and just flooding me up. You saw there's a number of skewers that are created uh, just sitting in there waiting for me to cook them. 
Um, but that's really what I want to talk about today. I wanted to go through this, and obviously uh, you can tell I didn't really pre-plan, pre-plan and, and look at this stuff. We did it together live here. Um, so if you you know if you want to see something else, just let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Subscribe, like, let's get these numbers up, and uh, let me know what you want to see.